Before you sit down to use Windows 7, you need to do a little setup so the software recognizes who's sitting at the keyboard. You, your son, your best friend who can't get on the computer at his house, you get the idea. Windows wants you to set up a user account for everyone that uses your PC. Windows 7 offers three types of accounts, and each one grants a different level of permission to do things. The administrator account, usually held by the computer's owner, is the manager who controls the computer and decides what users can and can't do. The standard account is for those who access the PC on a regular basis. And the guest account is for visitors. They can browse the web, but not much else. To add a new user, click the Start menu, then choose the Control Panel, choose User Accounts and Family Safety, then under User Accounts, choose Add or Remove User Accounts. You click Create a New Account. When you create an account with Windows 7, it's automatically a standard account. To create an administrator account, you have to specifically click this button. Type the name of the new account, choose Standard User, click the Create Account button, and you're finished. That new account appears on the welcome screen, ready for the new account holder to log in. When the new account holder wants to add a password to his or her account, or perhaps you want to change yours, follow these steps. Open the Start menu and choose the Control Panel. Select User Accounts and Family Safety, and then choose User Accounts. Choose Create a Password, or if you're changing your existing password, choose Change your password. Type in your existing password. Now you need to make up a new password that's easy enough to remember but hard to guess. Type in your new password, and type it a second time to confirm it. That eliminates the chance of typos. There's also a hint box. Here you can type a clue to help you remember your password, just in case you forget it. Make sure it's specific and something only you know. For extra protection, make a reset disk, a CD or DVD that works as a key for resetting a forgotten password. You'll find this option on the Main User Accounts page on the screen's left side. Windows 7 walks you through how to do it. If you want to tweak or change the settings on an existing account, click on the name or photo of that account. There are lots of things you can tweak. You can correct a misspelled name, change your account picture, or create a password. Switching between users is pretty easy. Just hold down the Windows key, press L, and presto! The Switch User button appears and you can hand it over to someone else while you go take a snack break. When that person finishes, he can log off by clicking the little arrow next to the shutdown button. Then you log back on and the desktop looks just like you left it. One important thing, you shouldn't restart the PC while another person is logged on. If you do and they haven't saved their work, it'll be lost. Setting up user accounts is easy and an important step when sharing your computer with others.